right, guys, so welcome back to Pilates Strong. My name is Lorene. We're gonna work our glutes and thighs today using these nice looped bands. So let's start off, I, I picked sort of a medium weight tape, but feel free to pick a lighter or heavier one, obviously. And let's just kind of hold our squat here, okay? So we're gonna hold our squat, not our squat, our squat. And uh, we're just gonna do a little crab walk, okay? So just like a little crab, I guess, you know, walking side to side, or maybe it's just one kind of crab that does this. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that up later. Anyways, crab walk. So we're just gonna go side to side across our mat. And we're just gonna try to see if we can fire up those outer glutes and outer thighs. So the first part here, we don't need to go super duper low, but I do want to make sure that as we're going side to side, that you feel those outer thighs and those glute muscles engaged, right? Good, keep going. Whew. So it is uh, Sunday today and uh, I've been teaching a lot and uh, pretty exhausted, but I'm good. And uh, took a lot of motivation for me to get started on this video today. So hopefully it's worthwhile. Good, now, since our warm up is pretty much done, I want you to go a little lower. So now this is where you're gonna start when you do the actual series. We're gonna go low, side, side, side. So try to stay low. You're gonna feel those outer glutes and outer thighs really start to engage here, good. And then side to side, just across your mat here, okay? Good, pressing it side to side. Good, going back out. I don't know why my hands are in purr. Uh, keep going, we're gonna go for about 35 more seconds here. Good, side to side. Good, just kind of focus on that breath. Ooh yeah, feeling those outer thighs burning. So here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna do two exercises, we're gonna repeat them. That's it, two exercises, repeat them. I have four sets total, right? So by the end, you're gonna really feel all parts of your glutes, your hamstrings. It's gonna feel pretty good. Good, good, stay with it. You got about five, I think, four, three, two, good, one more, and then release. All right, so on your back, we're gonna go right into our bridging. So lay on your back, bridge it up. Take your feet a little wider than hip distance apart, and you're gonna lower and press and press and press. So this first entire series here that we're gonna do is uh, gonna be a lot of outer thighs and outer glutes, okay? So just be mindful of that. I am gonna try to get all the angles. Our next round is gonna focus more on the hamstrings and the bottom of your butt. Still a little bit of side, but not as much. Good, lift, lift, good. You got about 30-ish seconds left. Press, now you're gonna notice a lot of cool things happen after that crab walk with the way this flows. Your glutes are warmed up, right? So as soon as you got into that bridge, even though your feet aren't super wide, right? So if you've done, if you've done my video with the feet wider than mat distance, it's super hard. You're gonna feel like this is already really burning. Good, almost there, press. I like my arms up here. You don't need to, good. You got about five, you got four, press, three. Good, two, hold it, three, two, and then release. Straight away, we got one more round, crab walk side to side, okay? So sit low, side. Ooh, yeah, now this is where it starts to burn. We're only like two minutes into the start of this workout. Ooh, and it's already burning. Now here's the thing, a lot of people like to tuck their hips when they're in their squat. Stick your booty out a little bit, okay? You wanna keep a neutral spine here for the most part, unless there's something else you're trying to target here, good. Losing my rhythm here, good. Keep going side to side, good. Stay with it, good. Press out, 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 good. Ooh, keep those knees wide, guys. Your tendency is to bring those knees in. I want the a band to be pressed out the whole time. Now, this is a feel good kind of exercise because you know it's getting exactly where you want it to. So like, I don't know, one of the things for me that I really love about this kind of workout is I like to feel it where I want to get better at, right? Where I want to tone and shape more of. Good, five, I'm coming up too high, four. Stay with it, three. Ooh two, and then release. So be happy that you can feel that, right? Some people call them saddlebags. Some people call them ears. I've heard all sorts of cute stuff for them. It's just really the outer part of that glue, that corner of your butt. Not even so much the outer, but like the kind of right through there. So good. And press and press. Now, these, this area is gonna be starting to get real toast here, right? I want you to see if you can feel even that top part of your butt, meaning this part that I'm pointing to. Good, press and lift and lift. My ribs are in, I'm not over arching the back. Guys, really watch that. I see so many people like uh, right there and I'm like, that's not gonna be good for your back all the time. So just be careful, right? It's a controlled movement for me. 
you know, I suppose if you're trying to go to some, I don't know, competition thing maybe, but even then I just, I never have thought that that sort of popping motion is good for the low back. Okay, I know there's a lot of trainers out there that might disagree, but that's just my two cents. Three, oh, I'm loving this. Two, good, now you can go fast without popping though, right? Like press, good, last one and then release. Okay, that was a lot of talking, so just be mindful of that. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, so now I'm gonna take the band, place it kind of around your ankles, all right? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna double up my mat. You guys probably should as well. Even if it doesn't bother your knee, just learn now to protect your knees, all right? So we're here, you're gonna lift up and down, and up and down, good. Pressing up and down. I'm thinking I should have probably grabbed my lighter because I can't get my range of motion as much as I want here, which is fine too, right? You can, you're gonna work differently. You're gonna work a little, I don't know what, even how to say it, but you're gonna work probably a little bit more of a bigger muscle and a shorter range with a heavier band. Good, keep pressing. And you're gonna feel that inner part of that butt. Engage as well, good. And lift, you got about 10 more seconds. Good, press, good, press. Stay with it, lifting, good. Almost kind of sort of there, good. Four, you got an alternating move coming. Three, two, now you're gonna go up and then out and up and out. Now watch what happens to my left leg, okay? It wants to lift. You can either set the toes this way or this way on that left leg. Good and press. But what I want you to do is stabilize that left foot, especially as you press out. Both sides are working here, are they not? Yes, they are. Good, and lift. Good, back out to the side, press. You're gonna feel a lot of outer thigh engage here. Good, press out to the side, lift. So the pressing out to the side, your leg is gonna stay relatively low for this one, okay? Good, stay with it, pressing it out to the side without jumping into your back or your waist. So you're not wagging your tail here. Good, stay with it, pressing it out, lifting it up. We've got a plank jack, jack, plank jack with the band uh, around your thighs or your own. Let's try it around our ankles, why not? It's probably gonna be pretty hard, we'll see. Four, three, two, and then release that. All right, so straight away, readjust that band if you need to. All right, first gonna go out, in, out, in, out. Good, both sides are gonna work here. Good, keep jumping. I've got your clock here. Out, in, good, stay with it. We're doing this one more time. Switching sides, coming up, good. So if you wanna make it easier on this exercise, place the band over the tops of your thighs, it will be easier. Oopsies, good, stay with it. About 25 seconds. Whew. Full body here, getting that heart rate up. Oopsies, there we go. Stay with it, guys. About 15. You're getting a good workout today, good. Stay with it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and then release. Other side, all right? So, first one is straight leg, donkey kick, right? Lifting and lower, I'm gonna back here a little bit. Good. Lifting and lowering. I think that was the right move there. Good. Not good. Keep going. Lift and lift. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell how both sides have to work? That right side is still working. I'm trying to keep my foot down as it presses because it wants to do that. Good. And I didn't double my mat, but that's okay. Good. And press. Keep those abs tight. Notice that there's not a whole lot of low back movement here very isolated through that left leg. Slow it down a little bit if you need to. About 20 seconds here. Good, lift and press. Your alternating move is coming up. Almost there. Good, four. I'm sorry, not four, what am I saying? 10 seconds still. 10, good. Press, good, and press. Try not to drop your head. I tend to like do this, so I always tell people, Try to be aware of your upper body too, right? Good, four, three, two. And now you're gonna go lift and then out to the side. And then up and then out to the side. Good, stay with it. I think I am gonna double up my max. It's probably a good idea. There you go, lift. The older I get, the more concerned I get about like joints and health joints because 
You don't want to wear them out. Once they wear out, they don't come back, right? They're not like muscles. Once you get rid of that, once you start to rub down off those uh, joints, getting that cartilage back doesn't work, work, right? Although I'm sure they have some procedures that help to delay it. Good. Almost there, guys. Pressing out to the side. Back up. Good. Out to the side. Back up. Slight micro bend of the elbows if you hyperextend. Good. Stay with it. You got about 10 more seconds. I love this exercise like so much. Good. Stay with it. Good. Press it up. Out to the side. Four, three, two. And then release. All right. Plank jacks. Unwrap that mat again. Adjust your uh, strap. Three, two. Let's go. Out. In. Out. In. Good. Stay with it. You get a little tiny little break coming up here in a little bit. Okay. Good. Out and in. Does not have to be fast. Good. Stay with it. I am sweating. I think my house is a little bit warm today too, so that might be part of it. Good. I'm getting tired, guys. Stay with it, but try to get that second wind here. Out and in. Out and in. Good. 25. Kind of, sort of there. Although it's surprisingly windy out today. Good. Stay with it, guys. I have sweat coming off of me. Good. Kind of there. Good. Five, four, three, two, and release. Oh boy, that is hard. All right. Grab a sip of water if you need, okay? Our next exercise, we're gonna go to our forearms. You're gonna do slower toe tap. So not plank jack, we're not going fast. It's gonna be one leg and then the other leg. Go down to your forearms for this. The reason I say that is to protect your wrist, okay? All right, so find your forearms. We're starting in four, three, two. Out, center, out, center. So we're alternating here. Good. And think about what it is that you're using here. There's this exercise that I do, or I have done in the past on the red cord system. This is kind of what it reminds me of, just that you're not suspended on your back, but you are still trying to maintain that isolation of the foot as you move it out the side. Now this is way easier than that in a different way, okay? So, and I love that system. It teaches you how to fire up your muscles. Great for people that have any kind of injury or any kind of faulty movement pattern or like any scoliosis, right? Good. Now, if you feel it in your hips too much, you may have picked a weight that's too heavy. You get to lay on your side after this. You've got about 10 seconds. Good. Stay with it. I'm going to separate my hands here. Good. Five, four, three, two, and then release. Corkscrew. Lay on your left side. Okay. Move that guy out of the way a little bit here. Okay. You're going to be slightly turned forwards here. And we should probably keep it there. Yeah, I like that. So for today, keep the uh, band right there, and you're gonna do your corkscrew with the band around the calves. Okay, so we're gonna lift up and down. So now if you feel this at all in a bad way, scoot that up to your, scoot the band up to your thighs and do this, okay? Good, press it up. Ooh, I am shaking. I don't know if that shows on camera, but I am shaking. Good, keep going. Press, good. Press it up and down. Exhale every single time. Good. Lovely, isn't it? Good job, you guys. Press. Now just press it up a little faster. Good. Then like kick it away a little bit. And lift. And lift. Make sure your chest is rotated towards the floor. That your hips are slightly rotated to the floor. Good. Stay with it. Again, if you feel it in the front of your hips at all, take the band over the tops of your thighs. There's no problem doing that there. Good. Stay with it. We're almost there. About 10 seconds. Good. And press, and press. Good. Four, three, two, and then release. All right, toe taps. Switch it around. We're almost there, guys. Stay with it. Okay, forearms down. Hold. Left and right. Good. Just side to side. Good. And press, and press. Good. Try not to drop your head like I was just doing. Focus on your breath. You should feel your obliques here, your glutes. Good. Press. When you come in, try to keep that tension on the band. 
you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay too. Good, keep pressing out and in. Good, maybe separate the hands. Good job you guys, stay with it. Out and in. Good, about 20 more seconds. You know, you'll probably even feel your inner thighs a little bit with this. Once you start to really build that awareness, you will start to feel them a little more. It's kind of cool, because then that means your whole system is starting to work. Good, 10 seconds, pressing out and in. Good, stay with it. Good, five, four, three, two, and then release. All right, corkscrew left side. So lay on down, we're almost there guys. Just stay with it, be patient, all right? We only have one more round after this, okay? Good, pressing it up and down, your little corkscrew. Good, and press. Press cement. And again, you can always grab the lighter band if you need to. Don't ever feel like you have to grab a super heavy band. I mean, really, it doesn't make any sense to like do that. Like if you're on a heavier band right now and you're barely able, like you're doing this, go grab a lighter band, please. Okay, even without a band, this is still gonna be hard. Stay with it, good. Lifting and lowering, exhale, lift, good. Press, stay with it guys, lift. We've got some squat pulses coming up here, okay? So stay with it. Good, about 10 seconds here, lifting and lowering. Feeling that outer thigh and outer glute, good. Five, four, three, two, and then release. Oh boy, okay, so now here we go, right? We're gonna take the band, place it back. Let's place it over the tops of our thighs. I was gonna have you keep it on your ankles, but let's do it over the tops of our thighs um, until we go to our spider walk which I actually still might keep it on your thighs. We're gonna see here in a second. All right, so all we're gonna do for one full minute now, is you're gonna lower down, hold your squat, okay? Stick your booty out, press out. Now, if you wanna get a little more, fine, step it out further or get a heavier band. Good, press, press, press. So when you're pressing, how should I explain this? Feeling the ground, feeling your feet grounding on the floor will help you find your glutes. Okay, if you're just pressing just for the sake of pressing it out without really feeling what the feet are doing, you might not feel it the same way. Okay, so that's a really important thing. I definitely feel more of the work when I feel grounded to the floor, good. Now I'm gonna go down a little lower, keep pressing out and in. Good, out and in. Now this one I probably could have grabbed a heavier band, um, but you don't need to, it's still gonna be a lot of work, good. Pressing out and in, out and in, stay with it, press and press, good. Now let your knees come in for like the last 10 seconds. Let them come in, out, good. Stay with it, good. Five, four, you're gonna hold this position. Three, two, now hold, okay? Now, you're gonna walk back. You're gonna kind of pivot at an angle, pivot at an angle, pivot at an angle, okay? I'm gonna turn my side here. Pivot forwards, forwards, forwards. So try to walk the length of your mat keeping the pressure out on the band i have to say i really love this one i love it just because it's kind of weird i call it the spider walk i'm not really sure if that's a proper name for it is it i don't know you can leave a comment if you want to what should we name this exercise right good if you have any ideas let me know good and then press forwards good forward so you're just walking a longer mat kind of pivoting at a diagonal good stay with it we're gonna go back to those pulses coming up 10 more seconds, almost there, good, good. If you want a little more, grab your arms up, four, good, three, last two, and release, all right? So hold it back down and press it out and out. Maybe get a little lower. So here's what I find, people are like, oh, but this is easy for me, for me now, but they're like way up here, right? Get lower, okay, challenge yourself. You might forget, I know how it is. Especially when you start to get stronger, you think, oh yeah, I can do all of this, and it's not a problem. But then you find that you're actually not going as low as you probably could. So really, try to go lower. Good, pressing out. And that feels really great for my left leg here. Good, pressing out, which does tend to um, sometimes be harder. Good, pressing out and out. Now let's pick it up a little bit. And bring those knees in and out and get that real nice big range. Good, <sighs> pressing out and in. Good, <sighs> press. If you hear any hip pops, when it hurts or anything like that, obviously stop, right? If it doesn't hurt, then you can kind of think about maybe where's my pelvis. Sometimes I notice I get a little 
click here and there, and if I just adjust my pelvis, it goes away. Four, good, three, two, now just hold it. Okay, now take it back, back, back. All right, just follow your mat here. Good, you're gonna feel that booty. This last part it really does start to burn. Good, and if it doesn't, play with the weight. You might find a lighter weight is harder. So give that a try the next time you do this. Or grab a heavier one, good. Stay with it, good. And back, 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 good. Getting there, good, trying to stay low. Trying to stay low, I'm trying to keep my feet slightly forwards, but you are gonna pivot towards an external rotation a little bit, good, stay with it. Good job, you guys. Good, we got 25 seconds, almost there. Isn't the standing stuff so much easier though than the forearm stuff? I don't know, it always is for me. Good, stay with it. Good, almost there. Good, forwards. Good, five, four, three, two, and then release. Nice work, you guys. Take that band off. Awesome job. If you want more glutes, I've got plenty of booty exercises on, on the web, on the, uh, on YouTube, on the YouTube, on YouTube. All right. So let's try a little stretch here. Take your uh, right leg forwards and then just take your left leg up onto your thigh here and just sit real nice and tall and just let that sort of stretch out there. But if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, you guys are always so awesome. I love the comments. I've read some of them and it's like so cool to hear that the program works and that the playlists are working, and that you guys are seeing the definitions you want. Good, and then just kind of hinge forwards a little bit and then just breathe. But another video that's great would be, if you want some abs, you know, you can do like one of my plank challenges. If you want something a little bit easier, abs to love is really fun. Good, and then slowly switch sides. Good, right leg in, sitting nice and tall. A little forward stretch here, good. Oh, just kind of hang out here for a little bit. Awesome job, you guys.